initially planned to do was get by some uh, uh, like a water source like I was on about uh, on my way in here and uh, I was going to um, put the uh, hammock itself uh, down on the ground make it um, ground dwelling put a couple of ground sheets down and use the hoops and use it as a bivy with a bug net um, because the chance the odds of finding the ideal location with a hammock uh, the trees and by a stream a lovely stream that I've got here uh, are very slim but um, luckily I brought my hammock straps and I brought everything so I was could, I could do both scenarios as such if I'd have left my hammock straps at home then I'd have been yeah lying on the floor and thinking oh I've got some trees here I can hang off so that I'm pleased so yeah yeah I thought um, it'd be a change I haven't done that before I've never put um, a, a front line or a front line XL into uh, BV mode if you want to call it that but I've never done that and uh, to be honest I was looking forward to it but um, I dare say in the future I'll be doing that anyway but uh, I've got it perfect here so uh, of course rather than be on the ground I'm definitely uh, if I've got the choice of either being on the ground uh, or hanging from the tree and being super comfy uh, I'm gonna take <laughs> gonna take uh, hanging on the tree hanging from the trees every time as well so all my equipment's pretty old now yeah, I've used it for some years um, I think the first hammock that I ever bought uh, was the DD camping hammock that was just a basic two skin double layered hammock um, and that's it that's all it was really uh, I loved that fell in love with that so I just had it really just as a try out rather than going like the whole hog and buying the uh, the front line or the XL version so I had a go in that and uh, fell in love with that and then got myself the standard front line and from there on I fell in love with the hammocks and hammock camping and uh, that's pretty much took over. That's, uh, like I say, my choice uh, to go wild camping, if I can. Bit of a closer look at the uh, DD Frontline XL. Um, I find it a fantastic hammock. Uh, I've got the standard Frontline as well, but uh, the space in here is amazing. That I find with this over like the Frontline, not that I'm saying the Frontline isn't a good hammock, it's a fantastic hammock, the standard Frontline. But the XL is the, the hoops here. But even on its own weight, you'll find that there's next to, next to none, no sagging in the middle here. So there's no need for these bungees that you get that DD supply. So there's no need for any ridge line whatsoever. And like the hoops get away with that. And uh, here, remember, uh, more the more ridge lines you've got, the more you've got chance of water getting under here. So it can only be a good thing. I mean, obviously, people know what they're doing and how to set up and everything else, but it makes sense to me. And also, it's a lot of time saving as well, putting up another ridge line to me. It's a really spacious hammock. Like I say, you don't have to be a big, a big person to uh, justify having one of these. I know they're more costly. I can't remember just how much. But uh, it's well worth saving for. I recommend the hammock uh, massively. So I own the two, the standard and the uh, XL. But uh, this, it's like, as you can see, there's so much space in here. It's, um, it's amazing. And you can get more of a, not horizontal, diagonal lie in the hammock across so you get more of a like a, a flat sleep less uh, aching in the knees um anyway today all i'm using is a really cheap what is it sleeping bag comfort 200 i don't know who it's by i got a feeling it's yellowstone yeah yellowstone it's two to three season bag but uh you see it was really cheap so I'm going to be plenty warm. Uh, I definitely don't need the Jura 2 in here. It'll be just too hot. So, let's have a look. And all I've done, because this, as we know, the DD um, front lines are double skinned, 
double layered hammocks see so you've got the zipped part there to open the bug net and then you've got the layer underneath which velcros up onto the side but under here all i've got is um, a closed cell foam mat somewhere under there there you go that's and i'll be i'm going to be plenty warm enough inside there tonight See how far up I can get. <sighs> Don't know if there's a trail up the top here. There's the uh, top. I don't know whether you can see it. There. Just down there. There it is. And there, uh, it's pretty well camouflaged. Doesn't really need to be, to be honest. And the grass, that dense. Let's have a look along here. Isn't it gorgeous? I love how the, uh, I love how the ferns almost like things look Jurassic how beautiful is that I haven't heard a peep from anyone I heard um, deer bark the once the mozzies are definitely picking up now uh, there's many uh, ants' nests, wood ants around here. I've got one just here. This is a small one compared to uh, the vast majority of them. Down here. how I uh, hold my bag today uh, all I've done is got like a meter length paracord and uh, I've just done an overhand knot in the end so if I just take that out and I'll show you so something like that don't need really big loop do you so just take it through these simple knot that everybody knows doesn't need to be that big but that's strong so what I do is with the rest of the paracord, go around the tree, like that. Take the other end through the knot, through the uh, loop, sorry. That loop didn't need to be that big, but it doesn't matter. And now, to do this, to do the marlin spike hitch, all you do is get the paracord like that, twist. Come up with a twist and there's where your branch goes through you toggle to hang your bag so again like that get with this hand twist upwards 
Okay, twist it upright, and you can see through where you've got to grab. Uh, that's where your toggle goes through there. So I'll put my finger in the way, get my toggle, and put it through, put it down. There you go. And all I've used is a bit of live wood, a bit of green wood. It's obviously so that doesn't break. I'll show you all that now. Just can't get out here enough. It's amazing. Doesn't matter if there's uh, not a downpour tonight on the top, because I've got this uh, to this, listen to the stream trickling by. I'm just going to let the fire die out now. I won't add to it anymore. loads of um, birch in this part of the forest loads of it so a vast majority of it in other places is uh, pine spruce Anyway, I'm certainly not hungry anymore. I'll tell you that. I've had too much. <laughs> the light is diminishing really fast in here now. I'm just burning off um, my pan. Frying pan. USGI frying pan. The mess kit, part of the mess kit. Um, that fire would still be ideal for cooking on even now. Got the uh, hurricane lamp on the go. Ah, that's a lovely orange glow, isn't it? Very peaceful in here. It has been all day. Not a soul. Not even the sound of somebody walking past. It's getting pretty dark now, so uh, I'm going to pack it up for the night and uh, stop filming and say what a fantastic time I've had today, this evening. Total bliss. I'm going to get myself into the hammock in a minute and uh, I'll uh, watch the fire die down, the hot coals die down, and um, on the hammock. I think I'll leave the hurricane, hurricane lamp on the go, so it hardly uses any fuel anyway, so I'll just leave it. Well, I'm in the hammock as you can tell. Oh, I've been dying to get in. Looks so inviting. The birds are just starting to go to roost. So it's after 10 o'clock now. I'd say it's about quarter past 10, something like that. Uh, can hear the stream really clearly. I don't know whether you can. That's lovely. Just look how spacious it is in here. It's massive. I don't see what I mean. Like, I can get like a What's the word? Like a diagonal line here, more or less. So if I go on the skew like that, that's my 99p Poundland pillow. <laughs> so if I shine my torch, there's the centre of the hammock. So I can get right over 
almost on like a diagonal eye where it's, it doesn't hurt my knees so much but uh now you certainly don't have to be a big guy to own one of these I think it's time I uh, went to sleep now it's getting on so I wish you all a good night take care and uh all being well, I'll see you in the morning. Ah, night. Ah, oh, good morning. Well, it's definitely a bit cooler this morning than it was yesterday. Um, had a good night's sleep, a really good night's sleep. Um, must have had at least five hours sleep maybe more um, Ray, it's been raining on and off throughout the night so I've, I've had the, uh, the stream to listen to and the rain on the, on the, uh, the rainfall on the tarp so uh, I was uh, asleep in no time <laughs> nature's lullaby so uh, what I'll do is um, I'll get up now and um, I think I'll use the solo stove, that wood gasifier that I was on about yesterday. I think I'll use that and uh, do myself a cup of tea and then I'll uh, have that and I'll, then I'll think about packing up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's always the same, isn't it? Yeah, so then uh, yeah, I'll have that cup of tea and I'll think about packing up and uh, setting back out. To be honest with you, I don't want to. I don't want to get out of the hammer. I want to stay here, but you know the way it is. We have to. Uh, you got to get a move on, haven't you? It's. Uh, I think the time's getting on now. It's about half past eight now. I was supposed to. Uh, I did have uh, getting up at seven o'clock this morning in mind, but it wasn't going to happen. Too comfy in here. Uh, it's plenty warm enough with the um, closed cell uh, foam mat underneath me. Obviously, it's not as good as uh, like a, an under blanket because you are, if you're not lying exactly on the mat itself underneath, then there are obviously cold patches. It's just a matter of like um, adjusting yourself until you, <laughs> until you can't fight, you can't feel the, any cold air on you, but. Um, no, I slept really well, like I said, it's good, I was lovely and warm, um, that's it, so, time to get up. So the solo stove, uh, the wood gasifier that I was on about yesterday. Um, it's a good stove. Um, I wouldn't bother showing you if I did, wasn't impressed with it and uh, didn't think it was okay. Um, this is just kit that I've used throughout the years and I think it's it's pretty good. Um, I don't do reviews on stuff. Like I say, the only reason I'm showing it is because it's decent stuff, decent kit. Um, so there you have the main unit. <laughs> And you've got the stand support that goes inside with the three pegs on the top. So it'll take all sizes of cups right down to very small to like your big frying pans and what have you. And there's your wood gasifier where the flames come out the top and the wood's gasifying. And there's a gauze there for your twigs to sit on top. And the ash pan, the ash where it collects down below the gauze. So what I'll do now is um, I'll put my twigs in there, I'll put some cotton wool, a bit of Vaseline on top and uh, I'll get it uh, a nice fire, get it lit and I'll do myself a cup of tea.
fantôme. away in between the showers luckily <laughs> most unusual for me but uh, yeah that's all done uh, fire's been put out it was out when I woke up this morning to be honest with you but I used the water from the uh, stream there to uh, fully douse it spread any hot coals or anything and you see you can't even tell where it was it's down here down there somewhere and that's fine um, leave no trace as always You'd never know I've been here. See? So what I do is go uh, and set back now and I've got like uh, a good hour or so to uh, take it steady. for joining me uh, I've had a great time thoroughly enjoyed this camp I enjoy every one that I do this is something different each time different spin on everything so uh, yeah fantastic time I can't wait to come back here again and uh, I hope everybody's uh, well and good and life is treating you good as well and uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for being a subscriber or for just watching the viewing and uh, I appreciate uh, your input on things your comments and uh, I love replying to you all and, uh, it's, it's great fun so uh, yeah thanks again to all my subs new and old you are appreciated very much so uh, right, I'm going to make my way through here, nice and steady, no rush, and uh, I'm going to walk alongside this stream, I think, most of the way back. So, uh, yeah, okay then, that's uh, Black Country Woodsum, over and out, until next time.